y'all it's hope here at crafty hope and welcome it's time for the mixed media prompt card for week 35 of hashtag crafty hope prompts this is a challenge i created for myself i started back in october using a regular deck of playing cards and altering them into prompt cards Basically, I know that there are 52 cards in a regular playing card deck and 52 weeks in a year. So I made a list or I took lists of prompts that I have. I've been developing for years and I've <laughs> gathered and added a few things I thought would be fun and looked at the supplies I needed to use and made a list of 156 prompts. So that is three prompts a week for the 52 weeks of a year. And yeah, each Monday I am pulling three prompts altering one of these playing cards on both sides. One side will be my functional side that has the prompts to pull later, and the other side is my decorative side. Both sides include whatever the prompts are as best as I can get them on there. <laughs> and I've opened this up for y'all to play along. Granted, I'm on week 35. You can start wherever you want. Start now, go back, whatever. Um, and to play along, all you have to do, you can either use the prompts that I'm pulling every week or use my list of 156 prompts. I've got a link to it below. And pull your own prompts every week. You can pull two, you can pull six, you can, you know, pull one, however you want to do it. Just use that hashtag Crafty Hope prompts so I can see what you make. Um, and use that here or over on Instagram or the two places I'm most likely going to find you. Um... What else did I want to tell you? Um, oh, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Am I forgetting something? Anyway, these are weeks 1 through 34 that I've created. Oh, I know. You don't have to make a card. You can make whatever you want. I pull my card, pull my prompts, and make my card every Monday. But then on Saturday, I do a second project that can be anything. Um, this past week, I did a junk journal page. I've done just regular art journals. I've made lots of tags. I don't know why. Um, I, what else have I done? I've altered little houses and made bookmarks and just all kinds of fun things. So you do what you are inspired to do. It is time to pull the week 35 from, so I am going to try to put this big old stack aside. And, um, yeah, hopefully we can get through this. Let's see what we've got this week. Oh, hold on. My battery light's blinking. Let me change that. Better. Okay. <laughs> Let's see, our first prompt is going to be tissue paper. Oh, guys, that is such a fun prompt. I'm excited about that. So, that's pretty straightforward. You can use, you know, the tissue paper you put in gift bag type things. It can have pattern or no pattern. You can take blank tissue paper, like white tissue paper, and stamp something on it or paint something on it. Um... So, you know, a lot of that comes in packaging. If you don't have, like, regular tissue paper, if you've got some other kind of thin paper, like deli paper or vellum, vellum's a little iffy, but most everybody has tissue paper somehow in their stash. If you want to take, I think I've got napkin in here, but if you want to take napkins instead and pull that apart because you don't have tissue paper, go for that. But, um, yeah, that's going to be really fun. I'm excited about that because I have a huge stash of different decorative tissue papers along with blank tissue paper that I can alter. So that's exciting. Okay, that's prompt one. Let's go with prompt two. Let's see. Oh, this one's a little bent and all of that. Okay, ah, uh, embroidery floss. Oh, that is really exciting to me. Y'all, if you've seen my 100-day project where I am doing mini assemblages. I've been using a lot of embroidery floss. In fact, I want to up my <laughs> embroidery game and I'm hoping for ICAD this year and I haven't announced it or but I'm deciding on it. I'm hoping for ICAD this year to work on my stitching and on all my ICADs do different stitches. I've got several books on embroidery and I'm hoping to maybe teach myself something other than a French knot. Hey! So, that's embroidery floss. If you don't have embroidery floss specifically, any kind of thread will do. An old little sewing kit, something from your sewing machine, just some kind of thread. Um, if you've got yarn or something, use that because embroidery floss is kind of thick. So you've got like a thin crochet or knitting yarn, that could work fine. That's, uh, I'm really loving these two so far. Okay, let's hope this last one is not too crazy. Let's hope. Let's see. Okay, I've got something in my hand. 
oof, Pearl X powder. Now that is a specific brand, but all it is is a mica powder. It's a sparkly mica powder. So if you don't have the Pearl X, I think there's a couple other brands that make like a mica powder. Maybe you have something with a like sparkly mica powder in it, like a, um, a spray. I think the Lindy spray has like a mica powder in it. Other sparkly sprays have mica powder in it. And I know I did this last, I mentioned this last week for the soft pastels, but if you've got like makeup, old makeup, like eyeshadow or blush a lot of those to give it that luminescent color they have mica powders in them as well so when I say pearlex powder I basically need me in some kind of mica powder sparkly something so like I said so a lot of sprays have it in there and um, makeup has it in there even hold on let me see if I got this this is a does this have it in it? This is in... No, that's not what I thought it was. I've got some inks with, like, glittery stuff in it. These are, I think, from Five Below. And I don't know if you can see the little bit of glittery stuff in it. And that is probably a mica powder in that ink. So, I'm going to gather a few things. I'm excited about it. And I will be right back to alter these cards. Okay, so I've gathered a few things. Tissue paper. I took, I've got this one, which is kind of, it's not quite white. It's a little off-white that I can alter in some way. It's also great to scrunch for texture, so I might do that. But I also grabbed this one. Y'all, this is from, like, the dollar store tissue paper, and it's got these beautiful roses and, like, botanical stuff and all of that on it that I may use somehow. I may use it as my focal or as a back. I don't know. I don't know. It's a tissue paper I have grabbed. Embroidery floss. Y'all, my collection of embroidery floss is vast. I have two of the plastic organizers of it. I also have a basket of some other I have. And then I've got this tin. Um, you can see it's got like sewing threads in it for a sewing machine I used to have. Here's some uh, like braided embroidery floss. And then in here, this tin actually came with a bunch of this in it. Um, so it's just kind of loose stuff that I couldn't fit anywhere else. So I thought, you know what, I'll pull this out maybe use some of the things in it. Oh, look, this one's got like a Kmart. Okay, sorry. Um, I love my little thrift store finds. Okay, so, and if not, I've, if I don't like these colors, I will go grab from my other collection. And then lastly, Pearl X powders. So, um, mine I have, this is... The ones I have, I say Pearl X on them, but they are just these little tubs of mica powders. I have more of them <laughs> over in this one too. They're buried under here. So I have I have lots of these. I just have to figure out how I want to use them because yeah, there's a variety of different ways to use them. Okay, I am going to start with my card and probably collage on it collage on it is exactly what I do. I'm starting with an acrylic matte medium and a big paintbrush and I'm going to just put down some book text. So once I get that all covered, I'm sticking this down, keeping in mind that, you know, I've got to use those three things that embroidery floss and tissue paper are definitely things that will layer on top of that. And kind of, I don't, it doesn't matter what's on there. Basically, I'm just trying to cover up that slick surface of the playing card because that like laminated plastic that's on there doesn't really help anything. I could have laid down my tissue paper. Now that would have given me a surface, but at the same time, it would have been kind of see-through. Oh, look, my name was there. <laughs> So uh, one side I put just a like a novel text and then the other side I've got some dictionary paper. These are all things that were just on my desk in the area. Nothing special. Just trying to get something on there. And yeah, so I'm flattening these out. I'm tearing the edges as much as I can just for that texture, but trimming where I need to with my scissors. This was a, a really fun card, y'all. I, I like the results. I like how it came together. There, There's a couple things I'm like, hmm, what if I had done something else? But for the most part, it made me happy. It was what I needed at the time to to just get my hands busy. So I did layer down some of the 
book text on top of the dictionary paper on this side. I'm getting all these little edges and things that don't get glued down. I'm trying to figure out, there was a little edge up there. I thought maybe I could glue down, but I can't get that little piece of edging to stick. So I was like, meh, I'm just, you know, here, I think it's going to just, yeah, I was like, whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and dry this real quick since that's all wet. And I've got some of that kind of blank tissue paper. I was trying to decide what I wanted to do and futzing with a couple things. And I end up pulling out, yeah, those inks. I told you they came with like a calligraphy, not maybe a fountain pen set or something that I was like, oh, this will be fun. So I get this brown one. And y'all, this brown one cracks me up because it is labeled as teal. I'm trying to show y'all. It says ink teal. It's not teal. It's kind of a golden brown. I don't know who maybe interpreted that because I'm pretty sure the stuff from Five Below isn't made in the United States. <laughs> so, um, But, you know, it's fine. The color was, was nice and neutral-ish. And I am just making some marks on this tissue paper I tore down, thinking that it will be fun to put that on my card. So I'm just using, actually that's the same paintbrush that I had written with in my art, my junk journal in the last video. So I'll dry this ink real quick and show you how super sparkly that like mica powder stuff is in there. It's not completely going to show through in there, but you'll get the idea. So I'll bring that matte medium back in and just kind of put it on my card. And I'm decided, yeah, I'm going to try the whole scrunching tissue paper thing here for the texture. Now I will lose some of the marks. This ink is apparently not permanent. I mean, it is to an extent, but it does smear a little bit. So I'm going to put more of that matte medium down and just start kind of manipulating, making sure the tissue paper is stuck down. The parts that are hanging off, y'all, I don't even bother trimming. I'm going to just fold them up and over onto the card. Um, I'm trying to push out some of the excess glue that's underneath. This took a while. I'll go ahead and tell you when I go to dry it, it took a while because of the, under all those little wrinkles, there was glue that just didn't, not glue, hit the, the medium that didn't want to dry. But you see, you can see my little marks there. They're not great. They're not perfect. Some of them kind of smeared. It's fine. And while that matte medium is still wet, I went ahead and pulled out my actual Pearl X powder in this, this blue just to get a little color on here. And I'm putting it down in a couple spaces. Nothing specific. Now I'm going to go ahead and admit to you that these Pearl X patterns I've had for a bazillion years. I think I bought them to use with polymer clay. But I... I, when it comes to my mixed media like this, I'm not real sure the best way to use it. So I'm sticking it here into this wet matte medium. I'm going to dry it. And um, yeah, so if you've got suggestions on how to use like mica powder, loose mica powders like this, let me know because I, I, I could use some suggestions as this week goes on for my project. All right, that is Distress Oxide and Cracked Pistachio, which I thought would go really well with that kind of golden color and that blue I'd put down. And so I just kind of rubbed it over the crinkles and wrinkles on there and then sprayed it with, with some water to kind of pick up some of the crinkles and wrinkles and then dried it. And here is a brighter gold of that Prolex, and I'm trying to stick it onto the dry card, and it, it's not having it. It's like, psh, no. So I'll take, this is stays on ink pad and I'm rubbing that on my card, picking up those crinkles and wrinkles and keeping it wet for a minute. And since it is kind of wet, I, again, I'm trying to put that Perlex powder into the wet ink. Again, eh, it didn't really stick. It didn't really stay. It's, it's neat, but y'all, I don't, I don't know. If you have suggestions on the best way to use a mica powder, Please bring them, bring them. Let us all know what you think. How how would you use them? All right, so that side I decided to flip over. I hadn't decided yet what side was going to be my functional side with my prompt words and what side was going to be my decorative side. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to flip this over and start working on the other side and I'll make a decision from there. So since I had added the book text on top of the dictionary paper on the other side, I'm adding dictionary paper on top of the book text. <laughs> I'm going to bring in some other scraps that are on my desk too and get them glued down just to, again, I'm trying to add some texture to this and give it a little bit of interest. 
before I, I move in with some of the other, the other things, y'all. So I think I had one more piece here. And this piece, I don't know, it has like a, yeah, some kind of geometric shape on it. And I could not decide where to put it. I keep, yeah, you see, I'm scooting it over, scooting it over, whatever. It doesn't matter. All right. So I think, what do I do here? Oh, yeah, I've got some stuff that's kind of like not quite glued down. And I think, yeah, there was some of that golden mica powder on my desk. So I'm just kind of rubbing it on there. And I decide, you know what? Let me just put some of my Uhu glue stick right onto my card and then grab another mica powder. And this kind of almost that cracked pistachio color and put it straight into that sticky glue. So that's what I'm doing. It does okay. Um, you'll see this probably the best in some of the pictures at the end, especially where, right there where I kind of tap the loose powder onto the card. So yeah, can you see that? Yeah, that's, that's kind of super neat. So I was like, let's do it again. <laughs> so I added more glue and I'll add more of the powder and just kind of move it around on the card. So... It, it's all an experiment. At least I'm using something I don't ever use. That's kind of what the project is about, right? All right. So I guess I had a couple of pieces that needed to be tapped down. And I'm going to bring in that floral tissue paper and fussy cut. Um, let's see. I wanted one particular rose there on the edge with its kind of flower, not flowers, with its leaves that are attached. I'm sorry I'm off camera, but I promise you I'm just cutting, cutting a piece out. All right. So I pretty much cut that whole corner off. So I cut off one of the roses, just trying to get to this one to cut down. And I'm going to, you know, turn it and look at it. And I will use my matte gel medium to glue it down because a fluid medium like this, um, you could use, I guess, a Mod Podge or a um, yeah, fluid medium to stick this down. But it kind of makes the paper part kind of disappear, like the white part of the tissue disappear so that you only see the image. It's super fun thing to do with tissue paper and napkins and things like that. And since I had cut that little corner off with that other rose, I went ahead and stuck it down too. So I am digging that. And again, I still don't know quite yet what side's going to be my functional or decorative. So I look at this for a while. I think I flip it over a couple times. Yup. Going, all right, what, what is this going to be where I put my prompts? Is this going to be that the pretty part? What am I going to do? So I was like, I really want to kind of bring out the shape of those flowers. So I grab this. It's just a drawing pen. It's a uh, one millimeter, I think. It's also, I believe, from the, um, whatchamacallit, <laughs> Five Below. So I traced around those flowers kind of sketchily just to kind of, you know, give them some oomph. And I think at this point is where I'm like, I think this will be my decorative side. So let me flip this over and pull out my prompts. And I cut them down so they don't have all that excess paper on them. And I was like, okay, now I really do need to bring in some embroidery floss. I've got my Prolex on both sides. I've got my tissue paper on both sides. Let's let's look at the embroidery floss. So I opened that little tin, found this tiny little bit of floss on Raptor. I'm going to show this. This is like the end of the paper that comes on the embroidery floss. So um, I thought that was kind of neat. So I'll save that to collage on something else. But I am, this one, I think somebody had broken down previously into three strands. So it was half of the six strands. And I'm going to pull those three apart so that it's just this bunch of, of embroidery floss. And so I put that on my card just kind of loosely while I grab some Distress Ink in Black Soot to edge up my words to give them just a little bit of definition and age them a little bit. Everything else on that, that card's a little grungy. So once that's done, I will get my, I was trying to decide how to glue down that floss. So I am just going to put some Fabri-Tac right straight onto my card is just kind of glump it up <laughs> just straight there and then I'll stick my floss right on it I'm going to use a silicone spatula to kind of press it into it so that I don't get too sticky and then I kind of I press my 
yeah, that first one was fine because it was smaller and it was more wet there, but I end up using the Fabri-Tac on the other two. Did I say Fabri-Tac a minute ago? I don't know what I said. My glue, it's, it's Fabri-Tac. Um, so that's what I do to stick that down with that pen there. I'll go ahead and write 35 on there to indicate that this was my week 35. And that is all wet. So I'm going <laughs> to go, I'm going to try to fan it and be like, dry. So I was like, you know what? I can work on whatever my focal is going to be on the other side. So I still have this discover stamp from the other week when I had done my word and phrase stamps. And so I tear that down and then I'm using Walnut Stain Distress Ink to edge this up. I don't know why I switched colors, but I think I felt like the brown would work better on this side. So while that's out, I'm going to edge up the this side of the card as well. And then I've got a piece of fabric kind of sitting off to the side on my desk. So I was like, okay, I can use that to back my, my word here. And I'm looking at everything. So I'll tear down this piece of fabric. And I'm, I'm doing this because I know I need to add that embroidery floss. And I'm not, while I want to sew, I don't really want to sew through the card because this is a two-sided card. So anything I sew on one side through the card is going to show up on the other side. So I need to sew onto some kind of substrate. And so I was like, that can just be this little piece of fabric. So I did glue my word down with the Fabri-Tac and I'm kind of looking at the placement trying to decide what it is I want to do on that little scrap of fabric. And I was looking at some of the, the needles I had already threaded on my desk and I was like, no, I've got this whole tin and I found this variegated like red pink thread, which is kind of perfect with those roses. So I get it on a needle and tie a knot and that gave my glue and everything a little bit time to dry. And y'all, I'm going to go with my trusty French knots. So I went through the fabric, wrapped it twice wrapped the thread twice around my needle and then I'm going back through my fabric in kind of a slightly offset spot and I'm going to do this on all four corners so I'm trying to be careful that I don't pull that fabric too tight I could have added you know another piece of paper or something like that to kind of given this a little more stability but you know I'm trying to keep these uh, these cards kind of simple and not too bulky and everything so I thought okay so I'm just going to do all four corners with this. This kind of gives it like a, a stud feel. I could have done X's or just a little stitch or something like that to add my embroidery floss. But I thought this will be fine. So you can see there's two different ways I've added embroidery floss here. One side just kind of loosely as a thread and the other with some stitching. So you, if you're going to play along, just think about that, that there's plenty of ways to add thread that, you know, if you don't want to stitch, that's fine. You know, just throw it at the page. All right, so I'm going to try to tie this off just a little bit. In the pictures, you'll be able to see this kind of light border of pink red thread behind the fabric, but that's okay. So once I tie this off, I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac to kind of glue all four corners a little bit, put dabs of glue on them so that they're nice and stuck, or at least two of them. Um, and then I will stick my, my Discover Word down in my spot. And that's really going to be, oh no, it's not going to be it. Why do I do that? Why do I always go, that's it? I look at it for a second. And I'm like, you know, this card needs something else. It needs a little bit more texture to it. Um, because there's not a whole lot of texture on that fabric. So I grab that pen I had used on the other side. And I'm going to do just a little bit of mark making kind of in the background. Just some like, I don't know lines with dashes, bunches of them all over the card. And then I'll decide that that is it. All right, guys, that is it for week 35 for my card using tissue paper, embroidery floss, and Pearl X or mica powder. And I hope you will play along and let me know what you do. I'd love to see it. If you like this, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you've hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out. And um, that way you get to see more of what I'm making. All right, I will see y'all later. Thanks for watching. Bye.